All right. Well, we are ready to start our story for this morning. And we picked a really interesting story to tell all of you today. And the story is a Jewish folktale from Morocco. Now, Morocco is a country in North Africa. And Jewish people have lived in Morocco since ancient days. They have been there for thousands and thousands of years. And Morocco was a place where Jewish people moved to during the time of the fall of both the first and the second temple, when it was not safe to be in Israel anymore. People moved to Morocco and they were there for hundreds and thousands of years. <clears throat> and then it was again a safe haven during um, the Middle Ages, during the, during the expulsion of the Jews from Spain and Portugal and all those areas, they lived very protected in Morocco. Before Israel became a new country again in 1948, when independence came in 1948, before then, there were about 250,000 Jewish people living in Morocco. After Israel became a state, lots of Jewish people in Morocco, some of them moved to South America, but a lot of them moved to Israel. And today, uh, there are about 2,000 to 2,500 people living in Morocco. But tourism has just opened up again, so people can go back and see a lot of the ancient synagogues and the cemeteries and the towns with lots of great Jewish places. And this is a really, really fun Jewish folktale from Morocco, uh, Jewish folktale from Morocco. And it's really fun for Purim because it has some really fun characters in it and masks and music and lots of magic things happening. So I think we are ready to begin. The name of our story today is The Bachelor and the Bee. And it was written by Shelley Fowles. One day, there was a grumpy old bachelor who lived in a small town in Morocco. <laughs> I'm hungry. One day, he bought a snack of cooked beans for lunch. But just before he finished it, the last Bean dropped into a well. Oh, oh, my bean, my bean. I want my bean. I want it. I want it. And I want it now. Oh. Now, as it happens, an imp lived at the bottom of that well. When the bean hit his head, he jumped out of the well and said, Hey, what's all this fuss about? My bean, my bean, you have my bean. And I want it, I want it, I want it now. And it's only a miserable bean. I the hair on my grandmother's beard. Hey, listen. I'll give you a magic pot. A magic pot? A magic pot. Ask it for anything you want to eat and it will appear. Only keep the noise down. I hate a racket. And the imp handed the grumpy old bachelor a magic pot. This? Doesn't look like a magic pot. Not at all. I think that imp was fooling me. Oh, well, I may as well try it, but I, I hope nobody else sees me. I, I feel a little silly. Well, here goes nothing. Pot. Give me a stew made with almonds and raisins. <gasps> it worked! And oh. with that, a marvelous stew appeared. 
with almonds and raisins. <laughs> Delicious. I hope nobody saw me. I don't want to share. It's mine. It's mine. And I want it now. But of course, a secret is hard to keep in a small town. And everyone in the village marketplace had seen what happened with the marvelous pot. And soon they were all lined up to have a turn. Excuse me, may I please have some food from your pot? Mine. <sighs> Fine. I would like some chickpeas, pine nuts, and tomatoes. And, and no sooner were the words out of her mouth then a wonderful stew of chickpeas, pine nuts, and tomatoes appeared in the pot, and she ate it all up. Delicious. Soon, more people lined up to have a meal from the magical pot. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh. I would like something from your pot, too. Mine. Oh. Fine. Oh, good. I want an ice cream sundae, hot fudge, whipped cream, cherries, and chocolate, and nuts. And no sooner were the words out of his mouth than an ice cream sundae as tall as the sky appeared in the pot, and the child ate it all up. Well, soon. <clears throat> Everyone in the marketplace had had a turn with the magical pot. Everyone, that is, except for one jealous old woman who had watched from the shadows. Oh, that looks really good. I want some of that food from that magic pot. Mine! Well. I want some, and I want some, and I want some now. No, mine, not fine. Did you hear what that grumpy old bachelor said? He said, I couldn't have any of the food. Well, I've got to have some of the food. It must become my food. I want that food. I want that food so much. I know. I know what I'm going to do. Tonight, while the grumpy old bachelor is asleep, I will sneak into his house and I'll steal that magic pot so I can have it and I'll swap it for one of my own. Music! Music quiet! Here I go, I'm gonna get that pot. I'm going to get that pot. The next morning, the grumpy old bachelor awoke, hungry and ready to eat some breakfast. He didn't notice that the pot had been switched. Oh, I'm hungry. I have a magic pot. Pot? Give me a stick. 
steaming bowl of delicious oatmeal. Hey, it didn't work. Hot, give me a bowl of delicious oatmeal. Oh, it didn't hear me. Pot, give me a bowl of delicious oatmeal. Oh, it's broken. Oh, I'm going to go back and see the imp in the well and find out what's wrong with his pot. Hey, you imp, come out of that well. Oh. You again? What do you want now? It's your pot. It's broken. It won't make food anymore. Well, that isn't my pot. I only have one like it, and that one isn't it. This isn't your pot? <gasps> hey, Imp, this isn't your pot. No kidding. Look, I'll give you another magic pot. Now this one will give you dishes and plates and glasses and tableware, you know, that sort of thing. Only do me a favor and leave me alone and don't come back. And so the imp handed the grumpy old bachelor another magic pot. And this one filled up with dishes and plates whenever he asked for them. And then the imp went back in the well. Dishes and plates and that sort of thing? What kind of a magic pot is that? Oh, fine. I may as well try it. What have I got to lose? All right, here goes. Hot, make me a drinking glass. Mm. Whoa, it's magnificent. Oh. This new pot proved to be even better than the first. It filled up with any vessel, vessels the grumpy old bachelor asked for. Plates and dishes, they were beautiful, made of gold and silver and crystal. Wow, look, look, look how beautiful they are. Silver, crystal, oh, what a magical pot. And this time, I want everyone to see what I've got. Ha <laughs> ha! And with that, the grumpy old bachelor ran into the town square and told everyone about his magic pot. Soon everyone had a turn to ask for the most beautiful, amazing dishes and plates, gold, crystal, silver, the tables were piled high with gleaming tableware. Everyone's tables, that is, except for the jealous old woman who only watched from the shadows. I can't stand it. I want that pot too. Why, it's even better than the other magic pot. I know, I'll sneak into the grumpy old bachelor's house tonight while he's asleep and steal this pot too. And then I'll have them both for me. But this time, I don't think I'll even swap the pot. I'll just keep it for myself and leave him without any. <laughs> Shh. 
Music. Shh. Music. Quiet. I will get that part. I'm going to get that part. I'm going to get that part. <laughs> Well, the next morning, the grumpy old bachelor awoke and saw that his pot was gone. Good morning, magic pot. Oh, my pot is gone. Who's been taking my pots? Something funny is going on here. I am going back to that imp in the well to find out who's been taking my pots. I want it. I want it. I want it now. <gasps> hey, you imp, come out of that well. Ugh. Even are you back again? Who's been stealing my pots? Oh, I heard what happened. Everybody's talking about it in the marketplace. Look, oh. I'll tell you what I'll do. There's only one more pot left. I'll let you have it. Now fill it with water and you will see. Who is stealing your pots? And then please don't bother me again. And with that, the imp handed the grumpy old bachelor his last magic pot. And then he jumped back into his well. Here I go, goodbye. Fill it with water. And then I'll see who's been stealing my pots. I knew it. It's her, the jealous old woman. Oh, that makes me so mad. Well, there's only one thing to do. I'm going to go to her house and tell her that I want my magic pots. I want them. I want them. And I want them now. <laughs> and so the grumpy old bachelor went to the house of the jealous old woman and yelled through her window. Hey, you old bitty, give me back my pots. Who are you calling an old bitty, you old grump? <clears throat> you can't have those pots. They're mine now, all mine. But I want them. I want them. And I want them now. <laughs> But I want them, I want them, I want them now. I want them now. I want them now. I want them now. But I have them now. Ooh. Oh, that strong voice that scary face, that miserable personality. Oh, I think I love her. Oh, old woman, marry me and we can have the pots together. Marry you? Hmm. Well, why not? I thought you'd never ask. And so 
the grumpy old bachelor and the jealous old woman got married. They had, they stood under the chuppah together at a big wedding party with food from one pot and tableware from the other. And from that day forward, they could be heard from one end of the town to the other, quarreling happily ever after. Mm. <clears throat> the end. And that is the end of our story. I like that.